is a really um, sacred song for me. It's a song that was about a specific incident that my wife and I experienced when we were in India um, a couple years ago or a year ago. Uh, we had a meeting with a great saint named Siddhima. And this meeting was a meeting that I had been dreaming about for years. And I never ever thought in my wildest dreams that it would ever happen, but um, by His grace it did. And um, the song is really about all the details of that meeting, you know, like me recalling all the details because I don't, I want to go live right back there, you know, I don't want it to go away. All the small details. So I remember when we saw her in India, she was sitting on top of, of the roof in the sun and we had to walk up these stone steps around the, around the house to get to the roof. And I remember that moment, you know, taking each step and just being like, oh my God, like, this is happening, you know, every step. I was just looking at the stairs and looking at the walls and it, it was just all so alive to me. When we were sitting with her, seeing the wrinkles in her hands, you know, remembering her tapping her feet as we were singing to her. All these intimate moments, you know, I put into the song because I didn't want to forget them. I didn't want them to leave me, you know. And so when I sing the song, for me, it's very much a meditation of going back into that space, going back into that vibration of that meeting with her. Um, it was very sacred for us. I remember when, when uh, you know, we got done and we were, we were walking out of the temple where she was, you know, my wife, she just kept looking at me and saying, what just happened up there? What just happened up there? And that became, you know, one of the main lines of the, of the song. And, you know, when we have these, like, incredible experiences, that are way beyond like our logical mind, you know. We have no idea what happened, you know, but we feel it. We feel it in our hearts. We feel it in our bodies, you know. And um, But still our mind tries to make sense of it. Our mind tries to understand it. But it will never understand because it's something that can only be felt with the heart, you know. But I remember that so clearly. We both were walking you know we left the temple we're walking out on the street kind of like drunk like what you know what just happened you know um but i think the most important um part of that meeting was when we were leaving ma and her attendant jaya as we were leaving she she raised her hands up towards the sky and she said sing to ma wherever you are because she can hear you and for me, that was just this seal of like confirmation because when I'm singing my songs and I'm calling out to the Divine Mother or the Great Spirit, whatever you want to say, you know, I feel like they're listening, you know, I feel like she is listening. And when Jaya said that to us, it was just this confirmation of faith, of love, of, um, I don't know, it was so special, it was so special. So that became the main, you know, line of the song, I know, I know you can hear my song, I know you can hear my song, you know, and um, very sacred moment for us to experience together, um, to experience just at all, it was very sacred, so it was a very, spe very special song, special song for me. So Wander is a, it's a fun song because it's the first song that I wrote with uh, the producer of the album, Sean. You know, it was our first session together, we had just met each other, and um, you know, I remember him being like, what do you want to write about? And I was like, oh, let's just let it, you know, happen. And I had kind of come up with that lick, you know, da, 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 da. and uh, he was like, what's that? You know, and he immediately started building this beat. And I just knew that, like, 
okay, we have this, we have a chemistry, this is special, you know. Um, but we wrote that song kind of about, you know, being a musician, you know, you kind of are living this like gypsy life, you know, and um, the idea of home, I think, is very different to us than to somebody who is, you know, very rooted in one place and, you know, going to sleep and waking up in the same place for years or whatever it is like this, because I feel like as a musician, um, or anybody that travels like this, you know, we have to be at home wherever we are. And it's kind of a tough thing to like come into, you know. I mean, even now I'm still like learning that, you know, um, because I feel like if we're longing for a certain place like this, um, our song or our art is not as powerful in that moment, you know. Um, because we're not fully present in that moment. That's what Wander is about. It's about that journey and and it's about understanding that wherever we are, whoever we're with, those people are our family. Wherever we are, that's our home. It's about being here now and, and understanding that the journey is almost more sacred than the destination. You know, because for me, I mean, I'm, I'm the type of person, I'm always looking ahead, I'm always like, you know, thinking about the final, whatever, utopian Shangri-La place, you know, but it's been really interesting for me to understand that the journey is really the sacred part, and um, the journey is actually valued more than the actual destination, it's very... It's a tough uh, lesson, but it's important, so let's wander. Moon Sun is definitely one of my favorite, I think, tracks on the album. It's just such a song of jubilation, and it's a song of celebration of, of the spirit, you know? And, um... You know, the, the chorus, you know, um, this love, it still holds true. Now what Now what are you going to do, you know? There's a part, I feel like when we're on this journey, I guess, when we're on this journey of the fruitful darkness, right? That sometimes you, you almost, as we push love away, you know, we push it away. And it's so weird that we do that, but it's the only thing we want but still we push it away. It's just so interesting. And the so this song is kind of, I feel like in a way, like that quality of the heart, that space of the heart, that eternal space of the heart, speaking to me, like, now what you gonna do? Like, this love still holds true. It's never going away. Between the moon and the sun, the work is never done. Like, it is always present. It is always present behind everything. And that's kind of that, that end of the song, you know, I will follow you, I will follow you, I will follow you. There's no getting away from it, you know. But still we run, we run, we push, we push, but that love is too strong, you know. Um, I remember one of my, one moment with, with our Guruji in India, he looked at us and he smiled and he said, uh, Divine Mother has no problems, he said. Only one problem. He said, because she is everywhere, she can never throw you out of her heart. You know, so no matter where you go, you, that love is always going to be there. And um, it's just a fun song. It's that jubilation, that celebration of the heart. And all the, the words in between are all the images that come to mind when I feel like I'm seated in that love, you know, community, dance, life, mountains, strong, rooted, um, those are all the images that are painted in my mind when I think about that space of the heart, moon, sun.
if I was a warrior is definitely I think uh, one of the most kind of creative tracks that I think we did on the album or or one of the tracks where I really felt like I was really stepping outside of my comfort zone I guess like sonically um, I wanted to step out of that comfort zone I wanted to do something just totally different and I remember I was telling that to Sean the producer I was like I just want to do something like just out there you know just push the boundaries and um you know from what I usually do and uh, I had kind of come up with that guitar lick and he just started building this beat and it started just creating all these images in my mind and that poem just we I was like oh am I gonna sing over this or and I was trying to come up with lyrics and it wasn't really flowing and I was like maybe that's just not this vibe and that's when I wrote the poem um, if I was a warrior and I just um, the, the, the music was really giving me the images and I, I just stated you know said the poem over the music and it kind of became this really cool I think like half it, or interlude I guess of the of the whole project kind of like the intermission you know um, but the words you know the poetry is really about you know what makes a warrior you know um, it's easy to cut a man down but how hard is it to actually build a man up you know build a person up like this like what are the true qualities of a warrior you know and that's what I ask myself in the poem. I say, if I was a warrior, what would be my weapon? Forgiveness, laughter, sound. You know, those things are my weapons, you know, to cut down uh, the negative qualities of my mind or my heart. Um, if I was a warrior, what would be my weapon? Forgiveness, laughter, sound. You know, my warrior, richest sky and ground. What would be my weapon? That line comes from, Forgiveness, again, my wife and I were in sound. India and we met, met this my Baba, the Sadhu, who lived just like on the river. The nothing, just had a thatched hut, nothing. Darkness, but when you were with him, you felt like he was a king. He was vibrating this richness of, the pages of life. Of and I remember, he, he started talking about, you know, his path as a sadhu, as a renunciate. And he said, you know, we are poor, but my riches, he took the dirt and he said, Lumi, earth and sky. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, you know, what? It was just, it was a powerful moment, but... Um, Yeah, it's about it's about being a, what the, the real qualities of a warrior, what a warrior represents to me, and and those qualities are a stainless heart, forgiveness, love, um, all those things, and that's what I speak about in the poem. <laughs>